This is the current view. Oh, that's weird. Oh, food! Lots of fresh chip bracelets. It's New York day two. We are now heading up to the edge, which is a new building you can go up. There's like a platform you can go out of. It looks super exciting. My sister and her boyfriend did this not too long ago and they really enjoyed it. So now we are here and we're just about to go in. Tickets were still available. We bought ours this morning. That's what the edge looks like. But if you wanted sunset tickets, you'd need to book them in advance because they do sell out. Um, so be aware of that. But yeah, tickets for the day is like 11 o'clock are available. Um, online and I think you can also get them here. Also buy your tickets here but then you can buy them online as well. So here is just our entry to the edge and they also have a very big gift shop which we will be checking out afterwards because I do love a big gift shop. Gift shop. Oh, I love a giant colouring book. I love that. Really nice and now we're gonna head in and then we're gonna pass through security and then head up to the top. Fun. Um, okay so we're walking through. Oh okay, this is very exciting. This is so cool. They definitely put a lot of effort into this. More so than the Rockefeller. I think the Rockefeller, the view is amazing, but they don't have a great like entrance to it. Like the lift's quite disappointing. It's been the exact same for like years now, actually. Like since we came, probably since 2009, the first time we came. But here, here is the edge. They put a lot of effort into making this like a really good tourist attraction. You can read a bit more here. Very, very impressive. Look at it. tonight to see the MetLife if we can figure out where New Jersey is. Humans of New York. Oh, these are nice. Oh my gosh, look at that mug. Oh, little pins. If there's one thing about me, I love a merch shop. This is a good, oh, it's like flowers and stuff. Whoa, the merch is really cool. Nice mugs as well. Oh, this is the view. Okay, that's quite an impressive view to be fair. This is the current view. This is cool. <laughs> 
today is the 27th of May, which means it's almost Memorial Day week. Well, it is Memorial Day weekend, but it's Memorial Day on the Monday. And because of that, they've got an extra aircraft carrier. So normally they have Intrepid, which is really good. If you come to New York, you really want to go to Intrepid. But they also have another one as well to celebrate this Memorial Day. And there's loads of like sailors around, like the Navy and stuff, like dressed in like the uniform, which is really cool as well. So it's quite exciting to see that. But yeah, you can just about see them there. On the you can see boats out there. Impressive. Here we go. This is the outside of the edge. They've got some stairs to sit on. They've got places you can get drinks. Lots and lots of space, which is really nice. And then here, you can walk over. So it's like glass. Obviously, it's very, very thick glass. But what you can see down below. Oh, that's weird. Look at that. So you can see, it's pretty weird. It's, um, yeah, the sun is reflecting on it a little bit, but you can see and it's so oh, that's weird. <laughs> we are here on top of the edge. As you can see, it's very, 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 very sunny, but absolutely lovely up here. A lot of people up here, but there's a lot more space in the Rockefeller Center, which is great. I never thought anything could beat the Rockefeller Center view. I think the view overall is better at the Rockefeller Center, but I think you're getting better pictures here and there's more space to do things. And I think they put a lot more effort into like the experience of coming up as well than the Rockefeller Center. So personally, I probably prefer this overall, but I think the view for pictures, I think was my favorite at the Rockefeller. But here is still really cool. And they've got like so much like extra as well. Just, you know, getting drinks and stuff. It's kind of like a nice mix of the One World Trade Center, which has a great view because you're far away from New York. Like, well, far away from like the Empire State, basically. You don't always get the best views. And especially because it's like inside with all glass, you don't get the best views. It was, so it's $40 to come up around $40 to come up so it was cheaper than the Rockefeller Center overall and um, it is really nice it's a lovely morning up here very sunny make sure you're sun creamed if you come up here but yeah you're definitely getting more of a view here I think there's just so much more you can see overall but again I think you get the best picture of the Empire State Building at the Rockefeller but I think here is it's good it's, it's a nice it's an experience I think they've put a lot of effort into it so I respect that and I like it and it's just really nice oh yeah is this a thing you can do it looks like there's people like dressed up I think you can hold over the edge I don't think you upsell down I think so that is must be a different experience where you go up and then like just hold over yourself as like an extra kind of thing that wouldn't be for me um they've gone now but yeah there are people all lined up there it's kind of like the strat in Las Vegas where you can do like extra things like the bungee jumping um which definitely wouldn't be for me but it is cool that they offer those things for people who like adventurous stuff not not me this is the view right now you're definitely getting I think a better view you can just see more I think it is slightly higher you can see the Chelsea Piers there it's yeah you're getting a really good view you can pretty much see everything especially because it's such a it's such a clear day as well which just makes the view just fantastic we also see like we are higher than some of the helicopters so we're pretty pretty high up and you can see like the tops of the buildings down below and yeah it's it's very impressive we just spoke to some New York locals and we have confirmed that is MetLife Stadium over there so we definitely did see the lights right to the top of the rock um, sorry, the camera's not. You see where there's like a white line where, where the wheel is? Just that is MetLife Stadium. So that's really cool. And we will be there tomorrow evening. from the edge absolutely fantastic i really recommend it if you are in the area if you're in new york to be honest it's really good great views 
there is a big capacity up there. I think there was around, it said on the thing like 2,300-ish. I can't remember, it was the exact number. And the Rockefeller's like 300. Again, very general, it will, the numbers do vary. So it's obviously much bigger just in terms of numbers, but there's a lot of space to actually get your pictures. So really good. Obviously we didn't do it at sunset because you have to book them in advance. And also I imagine it would just be as busy as the Rockefeller, but because there's more space, it would probably be more like, you'd be able to get better pictures basically. Yeah, look at this. We're just outside. We're just like downstairs in the Hudson Yard. Like there's this shopping center and then there's this art thing. And I really love these. These are really cool. I, I, I don't really understand them, but it's like dollars and like crumpled and like newspapers and things. And it's, it's really cool. And then, oh, food, chocolate. Oh my gosh, there's a chocolate Oscar. That's quite cool. Carry on down. Oh, lots of things around here. This is lovely. So this is Lee Lack chocolates. Probably, oh my gosh. Empire State Building, that's so cool. They are, oh, these are really cool chocolates. Oscars, champagne bottles, lots of very, very cool chocolate designs there. Let's carry on, see what there is around here. There is like a dog thing. Also, the plane I wrote a song, the Euro UK's Eurovision entry in there, which is absolutely wild. Look at these, these are so cute. I wish they were cats though. Look at them with the little Empire State in its mouth. They are so sweet. That's a nice shop as well. We're in the Hudson Yard like shopping mall at the moment. There is a big BTS store if you like BTS. Carrying on around here, we had Shake Shack for lunch. It was lovely. And now we're just kind of wandering about the shops and then we are gonna go get an Uber up to the Strand, which is a really good bookstore if you've never been in New York and just kind of explore more and do some shopping later on. And then here we have this, I'm not gonna lie. They told us the name, it said the name, but we cannot remember the name. Oh, Vessel maybe, the Vessel? That sounds about right. That's, yeah, I think it's called a vessel, uh, which is just this big kind of sculpture you can get a picture with. Um, and this is just the shopping center. But yeah, that's a very impressive thing. And when you're in the lift and you're coming down from the edge, um, it's like you're going outside and you see this. So like you see, like, I don't know how to describe it. I've done a video of it, but basically while you are the, like in the lift, the screens and it shows you like circling kind of round and you circle round to to that, the vessel, I think that's what it's called. strand i didn't buy any books i refrained from buying any books because i bought books with me well i brought books with me and i've, I've not read them yet because basically we've just been busy and i brought three with me because i thought i was going to read more on the plane and then didn't because i was sleepy and tried to sleep blah 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 anyway we're now walking around this like market which is really nice it's just near the strand and there's always like flowers and stuff like just wait how beautiful are these this is the river garden these are these are stunning they're just they're so pretty, there's so many plants. Unfortunately, I'm from the UK and we cannot bring plants back into the country. So I'm not able to bring them back, but it's really nice. What I did buy from the Strand though was this bag. So they had loads of tote bags. I love a tote bag, if you know me, I always have a tote bag. I love tote bags. And they had a tote bag with cats on in New York. Now there was two tote bags I was torn between, but then the one I, that made me decide to get it was I found one with a cat riding a helicopter and I thought actually yeah I, I, I do quite need this so I, I bought the one with the cat riding the helicopter because it was the it is the best purchase I've ever made because it's a tote bag as well so yeah now we're just walking around this like really nice market this is like we've seen a few markets while we've been here and they've all been really nice and very impressive and for reference it is a Saturday and it's near where the strand is and yeah just look at all the things honey so much like everything's just so nice. I love the plants. There are a lot of plants, but alas, we cannot we cannot bring them home, even if I wanted to. Some things. popcorn. It's very big. There is a lot to see, a lot of different stalls. Really, really good. And I presume this happens like a lot. 
because we are in America, obviously we have to go to Bath and Body Works because we do not properly, we kind of have this in the UK, but it's like more expensive. It's in next. It's just, it's not the same. So anyway, whenever we come to America, we always go to Bath and Body Works. So this is where we are going now and I'm super excited. So let's see what they have. Oh my gosh. Usually when we come, it's kind of like autumn time. So there's lots of Halloween stuff. This, this is like the earliest we've ever been to the US in the year. So this is quite new. So there's going to be a lot of like different things. So. <laughs> Body Works, we got some things, obviously like the little hand sanitizers, I love them, they are so good, they were five eight dollars, so amazing, and then we booked some theatre tickets for tonight, so we're going to see Moulin Rouge, yes again, I have seen Moulin Rouge on the West End multiple times, I love it, but my mum's never seen it, and also I've never seen it on Broadway, so I booked it, we, we aren't sat together, well we are sat together, we're just not sat next to each other, we're sat one there, one there, tickets were $99 each, definitely way more expensive than the West End, like so much more expensive, but we managed to find them in the stalls so I don't think it's called the stalls though so <laughs> I don't actually know what it's called but it's called something different on Broadway but I'm super excited this is the second Broadway show I've seen ever the first one I saw was back in 2015 I saw Wicked so I'm super excited to see a Broadway show and kind of see the Broadway audience because I know they're quite intense so I'm super excited to see that and obviously I'm excited to see the Broadway cast of Milan Rouge as well with Jojo and Derek it should be really really good so let's go and also we're gonna just explore Times Square as well Taylor Swift day. Here we are on Times Square. Here we go, the outfit reveal. This is my life. Woo. 